My name is Andrew Cameron, and this is Andrew Cameron Sports. Today, I'll be talking about ice hockey. The origin of ice hockey is unknown. However, ice hockey probably evolved from the game of field hockey that has been played in Northern Europe for centuries. The rules of modern ice hockey were devised by Canadian James Crichton in 1875. The first game of ice hockey with Crichton's rules was played in Montreal, Canada. This first organized indoor game was played at Victoria Skating Rink between two nine-player teams, including James Creighton and several other McGill University students. Instead of a ball or bung, the game featured a flat circular piece of wood. The McGill University Hockey Club, the first highest hockey club, was founded in 1877. In 1880, the number of players per side went from nine to seven. The number of teams grew enough so that the first world championship of ice hockey was held at Montreal's annual winter carnival in 1883. The McGill team won the tournament and was awarded the Carnival Cup. The game was divided into 30 minute halves. The positions were now named left and right wing, center, rover, point, and cover point, and goaltender. In 1886, the teams competing at the Winter Carnival organized the Amateur Hockey Association of Canada and played a season comprising of challenging the existing champion. In 1888, the Governor General of Canada, Lord Stanley of Preston, first attended the Montreal Winter Carnival Tournament and was impressed with the game. In 1892, he saw that there was no recognition for the best team in Canada, so he purchased a silver bowl for use as a trophy. The Dominion Hockey Challenge Cup, which later became known as the Stanley Cup, was first awarded in 1893 to the Montreal Hockey Club, champions of the AHAC. It continues to be awarded annually to the National Hockey League Championship team. Stanley's son, Arthur, helped organize the Ontario Hockey Association and Stanley's daughter, Isabel, was one of the first women to play ice hockey. Today, ice hockey is an Olympic sport and the most popular team sport played on ice. Ice hockey is played with two opposing teams wearing ice skates. Unless there is a penalty, each team only has six players on the ice rink at one time. The puck is a vulcanized rubber disc. The aim of the game is to knock the hockey puck into the opposing team's net, which is guarded by a special player called the goalie or goaltender. The first artificial ice rink was built in 1876 at Chelsea, Chelsea, London, England, and was named the Glacierium. It was built near the King's Road in London by John Gamby. Today, modern ice rinks are kept clean and smooth by the use of a machine called the Zamboni. Fiberglass Canada works with Canadian goalie Jacques Plant to develop the first ever hockey goalie match in 1960. Uh, the beginning of hockey in America, uh, in specifically the United States, is really centered on the uh, organization of the National Hockey League. But that was not the first uh, hockey league in the U.S. That was the predecessor league, the National Hockey Association, which was created in 1917. After unsuccessfully attempting to resolve disputes with Eddie Livingstone, owner of the Toronto Blue Shirts, executives of the three other NHA franchises suspended the NHA and formed the NHL, replacing the Livingston team with a temporary team in Toronto, the Arenas. The NHL's first quarter century saw that league compete against two rival major leagues, the Pacific Coast Hockey Association and Western Canada Hockey League, for players in the Stanley Cup. The NHL first expanded into the United States in 1924 with the founding of the Boston Bruins, and by 1926 consisted of 10 teams in Ontario, Quebec, the Great Lakes region, and the northeastern United States. At the same time, the NHL emerged as the only major league and the sole competitor to the Stanley Cup. 
In 1947, the NHL completed a deal with the Stanley Cup trustees to gain full control of the Cup. The NHL's footprint spread across Canada as Foster Hewitt's radio broadcasts were heard coast to coast starting in 1933. Thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe.